Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. And today for you we have a Jay and Silent Bob curated mystery box plus a little bonus. Um, I'm kind of nervous about this box. Our buddy and fellow mystery box bunker founder half geek opened this box and it was not good. Um, I've seen a lot of people open these boxes and they're not good. A couple people opened them and they were good. Um, if you remember several, several videos ago, we did one of the first curated boxes when it was actually like different tiers. I think it was like a 25, 50 and $100 tier. And we did the $100 tier. This one wasn't tiered. This is just a $75 box plus shipping, which shipping to us was stupid expensive because we're on the other side of the country. But, um, Guaranteed supposed to be $90 value, guaranteed cast signed uh, comic book man photo plus Kevin Smith. And that's the re one reason that I bought this box. The first box came with a cast signed photo. Kevin Smith was in the photo, but he didn't sign that photo. We got some other Kevin Smith signed items, but I wanted the cast signed photo with Kevin Smith. So that was the draw to this new box. First though, we do have a little bonus. We ordered this from the site and when we got it, it actually came damaged. So they sent us out another one and there should be a return address or return label in here as well. Let's see what we got. So we have an envelope here that says return label. And then let's see how this one looks. Oh, this looks much better. Much better. So the first one that we had had some corner damage. This one though looks clean. So this is the Sundance Special Edition Yoga Hosers comic dual signed by Harley Quinn Smith and Kevin Smith. And that is definitely for the collection because I love them both. I love Kevin Smith's movies. So that was a replacement to one that we bought. And we will be using this return label to send back the other one. But this is what we're here for. The curated box. Uh, probably going to be a lot of comics. The good news is, is that we get to play What Does Kendall See? So that's always a plus. I do my best to describe the comics for the people. Especially people that maybe can't see. Alright, so here we go. Hopefully, let's see if we have a good box or one of the bad boxes. Uh, the nice news is, is that if it is a bad box, they are either allowing people to return them or they're sending items to make it right. All right, so let's get into this one. So our box, I don't know whose signature that is. Maybe I can figure it out when we get to the cast sign piece. But that is who curated our box. And yeah, I can already tell you we do not have a good box. We have one of the boxes that is just a bunch of comics thrown in. So I can show you guys right now. This is literally how it was packed. It is just a pile of comics thrown in. And uh, let's see if we feel like there's $90 worth of stuff in here. So first comic up. Let's just take out this stack of comics. I don't know that we have a single comic that is bagged and boarded. They're literally just a stack of loose comics. This is pretty disappointing compared to the fact that the $100 box that we bought, everything was bagged and boarded. There was autographed comics. This is literally just a stack of 25, 25, what I'm going to assume are dollar bin comics, but we'll see. So the first one that we have is Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye. The first issue. Never heard of it. I will say though, I hope you guys enjoy. We did a little bit of rearranging with the lighting and it looks fantastic on our end right now. I hope you guys like it. Okay. The a clone conspiracy tie-in, the amazing Spider-Man. And it's the Hulk wearing like 3D glasses. The, I'm pretty sure it's Doc, Doc Ock. Someone's wearing 3D glasses. Hmm. Or something. This, and this is great. Is, we don't even have to tilt like this. Yeah, no, it looks good. Or anything. Um, and that one there, yeah, Clone Conspiracy tie-in. So we have an Amazing Spider-Man event, Dead No More, The Clone Conspiracy. So that's interesting. 
A little bit of a theme there. Shout out to my new glasses, by the way. Oh yeah, Kendall got new glasses. I'm wearing new glasses. So, there you go. Okay. U.S. Avengers, which is supposed to be like USA. Number one. A bunch of patriotic pe looking people on the front. It looks like the Avengers, but all American. The all American Avengers. This one's kind of cool looking. This is Black Widow number nine. And you've got like Black Widow and the Winter Soldier. Getting a little hot and heavy on the cover. So that was a number nine. And this is a number nine. Okay. Black Panther number nine. And then I have New Mutants, Rise of the New Mutants, Part 1, number 20. I have Seven to Eternity. I don't know anything about who these people are. I haven't seen that one before. And then I have Black Widow, number 8. Yeah, these just seem like... This is not exciting at all. Yeah, these just seem like we pulled these off of the back stock. These, this is not a curated box. This isn't anything special. Um, I thought it was a guaranteed $90 value. It's supposed to be a guaranteed $90 value. But even, even so, like, it doesn't seem that special. So this is State of Fear Justice League number 7 for DC Rebirth. Again, these just look like standard back issue... We got to clean out our stock. Green Lantern. Here's a Walking Dead 161. Oh, look. Another one. Another Green Lantern. That, that cover is kind of pretty. And here is a Nightwing Bloodhaven Part 1. Nightwing number 10. I mean, they're, these are just literally comics that I don't think they could get rid of. Southern Original Cannibal. And this is Nova number one. Like, if you guys remember the first one that we did, they were bagged and boarded. They had price tags on them. Like, this is just comics. This is just a box of dollar comics. This is Avengers number two. This is the Unworthy Thor. The Unworthy Thor? I think that's what it says. Interesting. And this is Green Lantern number 12. Is he supposed to be like fat? Eh, fat Thor. No, I don't know. Justice League. And here's another Justice League versus Suicide Squad tie-in number 12. Yeah, this is just... Uh, I don't understand how they can say guaranteed value when... No, we're going to add something up. but And then this is Nightwing number 12. Just for curiosity's sake, we'll be right back. We're going to add something up. Okay, so I just went through, just for curiosity's sake, and I added up the cover prices, the cover price for all these comics. And even with the cover price of all the comics... It only came to $88.75. So even the cover price didn't come to the $90 guarantee value. And I can promise you that these are not $90 worth of comics. These are back issues. There were very, very few number ones. I don't, I did not spot any key issues whatsoever. There's nothing special. They were just loosely thrown in. So yeah, there wasn't even any like care in how they packaged no. this thing whatsoever. So they're all they are all because of the way that they were packaged because they weren't flipped back and forth. So if you're not if they don't bag and board, at least do this so that you have at least take spine end and opposite spine end so it's like that. But they weren't. They were all thrown together like this. So now you've got a stack of comics that is curved. See that? So now you've got a curved stack of comics on top of it. However, there is this inside. Let's see how this got shipped, if this is damaged or not. So this is at least nice. So this is the... It's bent right there. Oh, it is bent. So even that's damaged. So 
that is bent at the bottom. So yeah, I'll be sending them an email. Um, I'll even maybe send them a link to the video. But yeah, so this is bent and you can kind of see a crease right there along the bottom. So this is what I cared about the most and that came damaged. Um, it looks like, let me see here. Whose autograph is that? That's none of those people. I don't know whose autograph this is that the box is curated by, but it doesn't match any of these. So, um, yeah, not the greatest. That crease might come out, but I don't know. Just everything was sent. It, they just threw these together. Let's be honest. They threw them together. Um, so I'll be sending an email and I will update in a future video what happens with that. But yeah, this is pretty disappointing. Um, I thought they were like the comic book people. Like they, they know they're sending it to comic book people. Yeah, you think I don't they know. would put some thought I feel like, into I, it? I feel like they were just like, you know what? If we send people this photo, they're not going to give a crap what we put in the they're box. Like Mark yeah, I felt like they were just going to be like, we don't give a. Their people won't care what's in the box because they got this cast signed photo, which is partly true, but still don't guarantee an amount of money and don't live up to it. I still got this though, which I'm happy about. So at least I got this yoga hosers. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will be writing them and we will update you guys in a future video. But we appreciate the hell out of you. Let us know in the comments if you did these boxes, if, what you got, if you were disappointed, if you reach out to them. I know sometimes they're sending return labels. Sometimes they're sending extra comics. Half Geek got a couple of signed Kevin Smith comics. He actually got one of these, which was kind of funny. Um, so anyway, we'll see what they do. But until next time, we appreciate the hell you watching this video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.